my fellow Gargles, welcome back to some more WWE 2K22. I'm talking to Ray. Oh my lord. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Deal, I'll do it. Alright. Let's do it anything for Ray. I'm doing this fucking... I'm, I'm gonna get my Platinum, my first fucking WWE game for a Platinum, and it's gotta be fucking Ray's. It's gotta be Ray for Ray. For God's sake, that's my favorite wrestler, man. I'm gonna get a Platinum trophy with Ray's fucking cover on it. Uh-oh. Uh, hi, Mandy. Hey, did you get my text? I did. And the voicemails and the DMs. I was almost expecting a handwritten letter to show up in the mail. If that would help greenlight the WCW reunion show, then I'd do it. Look, I heard you already have Rey Mysterio on board, and obviously he can still go. But what about the other former WCW guys who aren't really active anymore? Okay, so what if I bring in another former WCW star and have a match against them on Raw to prove to you this can work? Okay, fine. I'll be watching. But if I'm not impressed then, then it's off. No more texts, DMs, or letters. Deal? I promise, you won't be disappointed. I don't know about that. <laughs> Cause I mean, what do I have to do to make this work? Cause uh, if you're gonna tell me to do a five star match, you can kiss my ass. Oh my lord. All right, so what WCW superstar am I fighting against? What the hell was that? Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a okay. sweet treat for you. One of your favorite WWE superstars. Okay, now come to the match. Against a two-time Hall of Famer from DX and the NWL. I couldn't believe it when I heard X-Pac was back tonight. Well, the man looks like he's in the best shape of his life. I wouldn't want to face X-Pac back in his WCW days, and I sure as hell wouldn't want a piece of him now. All right, yeah. So it's not only do I have to do this, but I actually have a chance to go after the United States title now, which is perfect. Why does it sound like bones are breaking? God damn. He's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. But yes, so now the fact is I might end up getting my United States title in this episode, which will be perfect. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. So yeah, I did like a few off-screen matches, as far as nothing was any worth anything. And X-Pac moves. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Another so, yeah, just did some things. Oh. And another counter. Yeah, he got caught with this too. DDT. Cover one. Two count. Three. There we go. Victory. Yeah, I think you can still Here's hang. Your Shit. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, God. Mm mm. Okay. All right. I'll just make it work. Got it. I'll make it work. I'll do my best to make it work. I swear. I swear, Mandy Rose, I'll make it work. <gasps> oh, my. Alright. So what do I got next? What what's on my list? What is my to-do list? Oh, okay. This should be very All right. interesting. Okay. All week long, you've heard about a huge announcement I'd be making tonight. And now the time has finally come. 
You might be able to guess what it is based on the men who are gathered in this ring and those giant steel letters. But let's make it official. In the very near future, there's gonna be a special one night tribute show to the men and women of World Championship Wrestling. And it's going to be called WCW One Night Nitro. That's right. Raw is now where the big boys play. <laughs> I just want to say it's truly an honor to be a part of helping put all of this together. And I can't wait to pay tribute to the legends in this ring and many more who influenced my career. Now, with that being said, I'd like to... AJ's out of the hell. News of the announcement of WCW One Night Nitro. But apparently, AJ Styles has something to say about it. Whatever it is, it must be urgent. Oh, uh, hi there, AJ. Sorry to crash the big party, but I just wanted to say I'd love to be a part of this reunion show, too. Apparently, you forgot I spent a few months in WCW before it went out of business. No slight intended. I was actually planning on reaching out to you. Just wanted to make sure we save room on the card for some of the more well-known WCW stars. Uh, well-known, huh? I, I mean well-known in WCW, not in general. Like you said, you were only there for a few months. But I'm sure we can work this out. Let's talk more later, all right? Yeah, sounds good. I'll let you get back to it. As you can see, this show is so big that everyone wants to be a part of it. Now stay tuned to the WCW Hotline. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> stay tuned to social media for more information on WCW One Night Nitro. We never thought we'd see this moment. WCW will return for one night only. I think that's kind of nice. Ah, there AJ we go. AJ Styles with the chair shot. He's not waiting to talk about this later. AJ Styles clearly felt disrespected Jesus. tonight. And now he's taking it out on all the WCW legends. And down goes Booker T. Kevin Ooh. Nash can't stop AJ either. Woo! Off the uh, oh, Styles shit. Ooh, God damn. Okay, maybe this will be a fair fight. Guess not. Uh oh. Oh god. Not Styles Clash. AJ setting up for the Styles Clash. Down mm. the steel chair. This was supposed to be a moment to celebrate the legends of WCW, but AJ Styles did everything in his power to ruin that. Just pathetic, in my opinion. This seems to be about more than just being excluded from the event. There's something else going on here. And God, what a disgraceful act to close out an all-around shameful night for AJ Styles. Oh, goody. Oh, come on. That fucking sucks. All week long, I've been getting messages on social media. Why, AJ? Why did you take out the WCW legends? Why'd you ruin One Night Nitro? Well, here's the answer. At first, I was slightly offended I wasn't considered for the show. After all, like I said, I was an actual wrestler there, unlike the super fan wannabe putting it all together, who never stepped foot in a WCW ring. More on him in a second. But then the more I thought about it, I didn't want to be a part of bringing back and honoring the egotistical, greedy dinosaurs who slept walked through their matches just to collect a fat paycheck, putting the company out of business, and nearly killing my career before it ever got started. In fact, it was so bad down there, when they first offered me a contract, I turned it down and took a job delivering water because it paid more. 
because all these so-called legends were flying around in private jets with their guaranteed contracts, wrestling four times a year, and there was no money left to pay guys who actually wanted to be there. Ultimately, I ended up going to WCW for three months, and it was way worse than I thought it would be. Every decision from the top guys was made to hold back the younger, more talented wrestlers like me. Finally, it all caught up to them and the company folded. I had to go back to the Indies and work my butt off to make it to where I am today. But I'm the exception. Most of the younger WCW guys from that era, like my old tag team partner, they never made it. So that's how I remember WCW. Not as this company that beat WWE for a short time or part of this over-glorified golden era of wrestling, but a sinking ship that almost took down AJ Styles with it. So that's why I did what I did. I shut down the embarrassing tribute show before it ever happened, and I'd do it again 500 times. So let's circle back to the guy who started all this. You were just a fan when all that with WCW went down. You had no idea what really happened. But in my eyes, that almost makes you worse than the so-called legends you put on a pedestal. You're supposedly a WWE superstar now, so act like it. This isn't your time to play fantasy WCW. It's embarrassing. So you want to talk about destroying me for what I did? Remember, WCW already tried that, and they failed. So I'm gonna do a favor for every man and woman in that locker room who has any actual respect for what we do and destroy you. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Oh, Rancy then. I mean, if I'm gonna try to destroy him, it has to be more than a normal match then. For God's sakes. I mean, that's kind of bullshit though. I'm like, God damn. I was actually expecting, like, a fucking, uh, something actually worth a time. But, nah. The man who attempted to bring you one night Nitro gets his oh, chance good. I got against AJ Styles, who crashed his party last week. What a disgraceful display from the phenomenal one. But Great, just damage him, huh? From AJ Styles. See, I think AJ Styles must have learned something from his old job delivering H2O because he poured a bucket of cold water on the WCW reunion show and every legend who thinks they can waltz back into the ring whenever they Shit. want. There's repercussions for that. Like this match tonight. Get out of here. This is just what? Power. what a German suplex. Two. Running elbow drop on target. Three. Ooh, man. Four. Come here. Oh, this is what's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow. Flat. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Double axe handle. Oof. Oh, stomping away. Styles. Come on, let's get back in the ring. And he goes into the ring. Yeah. Oh, turn out the lights. There's return fire on AJ. Snapping the neck. Styles has no control here. But AJ can't let this flourish. Now uh, get your ass up here. Grapple him, all right. Oh, he knew what was coming. Is he attempting a Styles Clash? It's Finn Balor. What's he doing here? It seems Balor's attempting to help out his former club partner. He's certainly got everyone's attention. AJ Styles has a, a chair, and the referee has no idea. Neither does his opponent. It's Kevin Nash. Oh. Nash and Styles took out the WCW legends um, a few weeks back. This is his chance for payback. Yeah. Oh god. Oh come on. Kevin Nash just turned on his friend. I what the fuck? This is happening. And now AJ taking advantage. He's going to do it. He hits this and it's done. Fuck it. Shocking actions of Kevin Nash. V. 
This is unbelievable. Oh, the flying fuck. What exactly is the relationship between these three? I'm not sure if Balor and Styles even know. There's your answer. It looks like we've just witnessed the birth of some kind of new NWO slash club type alliance. This is bad news for WWE. Oh, I agree. Nothing good can come from this. Oh, God damn. I thought this was going to be like a short fucking thing, but nah. I was like, oh, I'm going to do this and then take over the United States title. Fuck. <laughs> uh. I'm taking Rey Mysterio, man. I'm taking my boy. I'm taking goddamn Rey Mysterio. I was the one who asked him first. And of course, it's my boy anyway. I'm ready to tag mode with my boy Rey. Hell no. Y'all thought I'm king. Hell no. Mm mm. If you give me a chance to tag with Ray, I'm taking it every fucking time. Better get ready. Yeah, yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right. I see him right. I see. I see. The WWE I see him. Universe has been in shock. Ever since AJ Styles annihilated an entire uh -oh. roster of WCW legends, and things hey, got even darker. No! Nash joined forces with Styles and Finn oh. Balor. They sure did, especially for the superstar originally responsible for the ill-fated One Night Night. That superstar will try to get even with Styles as he teams up with a WCW icon who's ready to fight back against this emerging uh. alliance of outsiders. Uh. If they take them down, then AJ will be on the hook for a one-on-one -on -one rematch. What a punch! Good contact! Tag with a punch! There we go. And a Ow! A counter by Styles. Series of reversals. Sleeper slam. He's tagging. There you go, Ray. Running swans. Wow, damn. Oh, Nicely done. This could stop AJ Styles for a while. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Uh oh. Oh shit. What awareness seeing Ray coming. There's the tag. Alright. Caught with a close line. A club with a right forearm. Step up in Zagari. Ballers lost momentum here. Finn's getting exposed. Double stop. Pearson strike. There we go. Sorry, Finn. Did you wanted that tag? No, no. Big splash. He may be in a bad way here. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it 
There we go. Freaking beautiful. I wonder. Eh, no, we don't. Oh, well. Styles is getting dominated. AJ is going to slow this momentum down. There we go. There you go, partner. There we go. There we go. Let him get the win for the WCW shit. There you go. Yeah. Harrison and Rey Mysterio. This tearing pain. There we go. With an impressive tag team. Fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful, man. Mwah. Damn. Still gays, Jesus. I gotta deal with him in a steel cage. Shit. Should have listened to your friends. Unless they got something out of their ass. I did not expect this thing to be like a long series of events. What started as an attempted tribute to WCW's larger than Why do I have to win by his pin or submission? Seriously. Why not escape the cage? And they'll have to do it in a steel cage match, which means no more invited guests and no more uninvited guests either. After what we've seen recently, I'm not even sure a steel cage can contain this issue, but we're about to find out. Taking fight! Yeah, but I say, I'm not trying to escape, even though they have. I mean, the. Escaping the cage is not allowed. See, that's ridiculous. The stomp in every single part of his body. So like you are forced to fucking do that shit. You need the elbow as a weapon. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. He needs to adapt if he wants to steal the win in that steel cage. Whee! That's it. What a splash. And Styles is taking a lot of offense now. AJ's got to assert himself back in this one. No, he should not. Using the knee. From the middle rope. He paid for that one. Oh, man. Big I did I, though. I got his leg. If that's worth anything. AJ Damn. On that misstep. Boom. Thanks for coming. He's got him scouting. Nice try. Nope. He saw it coming. The fuck was that? I'm air bitch. Time to end this. Inevitable here. Uh -oh, the gargoyles. Curse. Pile driver. Crucial moment for Styles. Ten. One. Two. Three. And this one is over. There. How you like me now? How you like my now? I wasted whole episode just for this. <laughs> I mean, it's for Ray, so I can't complain.
There we go. One night of nitro. I am so sad about that. Like, man. Uh, you know what? I, I am going to end the episode because next episode I will take on... Uh, Yeah, no shit. Maybe you shouldn't have done. Wait, what? Oh. Hi, right, Matt, thanks. Okay. Uh, da da. Yeah, I'm gonna race. I put off on the decision. I mean, for fuck's sake, I haven't even get... So, I, I guess when I'm ready to move to SmackDown, I got this. So, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, man. No, that's all right. I got my boy ready for me. All right, so... Yeah, thanks. Alright, there he is. So, yeah, next episode I'm going to take him on because this will start the thing. So, until then, my fellow gargoyles, I'll see you guys next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, please sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. And also ring that notification bell to be notified what we do on this channel. Also, check out my friend Derek's Instagram where he made all these pictures, even this one right here. Until then, my fellow gargoyles, see you guys next time.